Okay, so we're looking at how we can change this piece of video. So we just have the, the green in this shot. So we lose all the, the color and we desaturate the rest of the image. Now the easiest color to highlight in all of this image is the green. So what we're going to do is actually desaturate the green first um, by using the three-way color corrector um, and then invert it. So it will then desaturate the rest of the image and not the green. So we're going to pick, we're going to look at this at 100% so we get a good idea of the sharpest frame of this shot. So let's just... So we're looking for where there's no kind of motion blur just so we can see that it's going to work the best. So this will do. So we've got um, our shot of your dentine ice here. Okay, and if we scroll down first thing we can look at is how we uh, remove the saturation. So basically we can remove saturation from all of the, the image by pulling all these down to zero. Okay, that will desaturate it. We're going to leave those at 100 um, for the moment until we have isolated the, the colour. So basically um, we're using secondary colour correction. So we're not doing kind of a primary colour correction. We're just wanting to limit that colour correction to the green. So the first thing we want to do is choose a green. Okay. So we can do it in one or two ways. We can select uh, the greenest part of this shot. Um, but actually, we're going to go into the colour box and just set our green to full green. Uh, because we've got a range of colours here. So we'll start with this and then kind of tweak it from there. Um, so now if we pull the saturation down to zero for all these, we may not quite yet get the result we want. Okay. So and the reason for that is that the um, luma, so the amount of light in the image, um, and the overall saturation of the image is still being limited by the colour correction as well. So I'm just going to pull these out. So these limiters basically are the range in which you're applying your effect. So here we're just applying it to this little bit of green um, and also to um, a kind of a fade to, to another colour so we don't get a really hard edge to the edge of that image. So I'm just going to pull the loom out here as well. to see it desaturating as we're grabbing some little bits around that. So we just need to widen the selection that we've got. So you can see that it's really just isolating the green and not the, the hand. And there's a little problem bit of this um, up here. And I'll show you how to fix this in a bit. Um, in that there's actually a little bit of green in um, the bow or the kind of um, clothing you're wearing there. So that's been desaturated as well. We'll look at how we fix that in a second. So essentially now we've desaturated the green. So if we select invert here, it's going to desaturate everything except the green. So now if we fit that, you can see it does a pretty good job, apart from just up here where it's kind of desaturated uh, part of the image we don't want to be desaturated. And the way we'd fix that is by adding a new layer, so duplicating this layer. Okay. And I'll just paste it onto video two. Okay. Okay. So just paste in the, the video onto video two. And so what I can do um, with this now is I'll remove, um, I'll kind of just revert the color correction initially. Oops. So, turn that layer, let's lock that layer so that we don't mess it up. So now we've got what we want, but for this layer we just want to desaturate everything. And then we're going to use a garbage mask to um, 
build a, a mask so that we're just masking this area of the image on the top left back into the original video. Okay, so select that. Go up to the effect controls up here. I just revert the color corrector. So that'll set all these values um, back to normal. Drop the saturation down. Okay, so now we've got a completely desaturated image. Then if we add um, should be a four point garbage mask should be fine. Okay. Just close this up, select our garbage mask. And we should be able to then just kind of pull these in here to reveal the background. Although it seems to have lost my original colour correction. Why is that? <laughs> I guess I may have reverted them both. Let's just undo that. So, what have we done here? Okay. So, let's jump back into this one now. previous layer. We'll drop these down now. Okay. Add our garbage map there. Select that. That's better. So we're just building this top left bit of the image back into the original layer. So now we should have there, without the little jitters up there, that works quite nicely. Now I can see a little bit of green up here, so you could do the same thing across there with a the garbage mat. So basically around this you could just kind of build in um, that desaturation. In fact, if we wanted to do it a bit smarter, we would put the garbage mat around the edge of this. Okay. Uh, in fact, no, we can't invert it. So we have to do that. We have to just kind of build back in the bits of the image with different layers so that we can then kind of build that in. 